No, I, I'll tell you what. We lost on Wednesday. And so we got back, like I said, we took Thursday off, you know, and then we got back in the gym, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I had a chance to talk to him every day about it. And I could see it coming, you know, and I didn't, I didn't kill their hopes. We got together last night for the selection show in the, here in the, uh, in the film room. And it was quiet, but I told him what seeds to be looking at, you know, the 11s and the 12s. And, you know, I was very honest, but yet very upbeat. And um, I don't, I think, I mean, yeah, sure. They're disappointed. It, it, don't get me wrong. And they should be, but they'll be excited to play. Um, Isaiah Musius was in here today talking to me. He's, 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 you know, the heartbeat of our team. He's ready to go. Um, we'll be ready to play. And um, we've had time. It's not like, you know, we got beat on Saturday. Like Buzz Williams, you know, Buzz and I are good friends. You know, coach together on the same staff at a and I'm sure that's hard. They just played in a conference championship and got beat, made a heck of a run, and then they leave the floor, go watch the show, and they're not in. That's deflating, I'm sure. Um, you know, uh, it looked like to me, had Virginia Tech not, not beat Duke, they weren't going to be in. Honest truth. The number two team in our league, Notre Dame was the last team in. Looks like to me, or close, I don't know, looked very close. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I think we've got that covered, John. I think, I think we'll be fine. And does, it, and does it help to have an older team like that to kind of just, you know, put it behind them and start and go play and win a tournament? It can be. It can also be hurtful. I mean, because, it's, you know, this is their last, you know, maybe they feel like this is their last chance, you know, so they're just, you know, there were some tears being shed a little bit in there from older guys, and I understood that, you know. Um, sometimes these tournaments a little bit for the younger guys or maybe the upstarts. Like, I can tell you this, I've been in it a couple times and had really good experience. You know, my first time was at Louisiana Tech, and uh, we went 14-4 and four in the WAC, and we didn't get in. We won 20-some games, just kind of like this year. But you know what we did? We played Louisiana Lafayette. We beat them. Uh, Vanderbilt came in there. We beat them. And then they sent us to uh, Philadelphia to play a first-year head coach by the name of Jay Wright. And um, we lost right at the buzzer. It was a heck of an experience. Uh, my, my first year at a and is kind of like this year, okay? Um, they hadn't won anything in a long time. We had the largest turnaround in college basketball that year. We went eight and eight in the Big Twelve, and we got in the we got in, and we sold out uh, the arena twice. We played Clemson at home and beat them. We went to DePaul and won, and we came home and played St. Joe's to go to the to New York City. And then a, a massive offensive showdown. I think we got beat 36 to 35 or something like that. Um, that was a year right after Martelli had taken them to the final or went undefeated or something. It was crazy. So, um, you know, we got to treat it like that and just be excited to play. And the teams that are excited to play are the teams that win, you know, because they're all pretty good teams in this deal.